Hello, fourth graders. Um, before we do our unit test um, today, I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to finish the review. The video yesterday was getting super long and I didn't want to uh, overwhelm anybody there. Um, but of course, you didn't have anything to do in your math journal. So that was kind of the trade off. A um, couple of other topics that we have covered recently, right? From feet to inches, there are 12 inches in one foot. So if you want to think about, well, two feet, how many inches would that be? Well, two 12s would be 24. And so on my chart here, I'm going to put 24 right here. How many would three 12s be? You tell me. So now 12 more. Did you say 36? Yep. Yeah, right. So how, what about five 12s? Wow. So five times 12 or, or 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 would give us 60. If we had to explain that, and I'm not going to type that here right now, um, but if I would, uh, I could say that I multiplied five times 12, or I did 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Plus 12. Find the perimeter. Perimeter, remember, is to add up all four sides. So find the perimeter of this rectangle for me. Okay, your perimeter here should have been 72 feet. 72. Right, 11 plus 11 plus 25 plus 25. If you have a perimeter of 36, then that means you added this side and this side, but you forgot to add this side and this side. Remember, add all of the sides. Okay, last few things, right angles. Some of our shapes have right angles. This one is a right angle, see, right there. And is this one a right angle right here? Yep. It is, right? So there are two right angles on that shape. This shape is actually a, a, a trapezoid. The sides are parallel, but the top and the bottom are not. All right, last uh, section here. We're going to draw a ray and label it AB. So the ray is going in one direction, and it's starting at the A. Because a ray has to be named correctly. Draw a line segment. How many arrows do I need on my line segment? If you said zero, you are correct. A line segment has a start and a stop. At that point there, from here, we're supposed to call this CD. Draw a set of parallel lines, parallel lines. Ooh, lines keep going forever and ever. So I need to make sure that I have parallel lines with arrows on the end like that. Perpendicular, do you remember that one? Perpendicular means crosses at a right angle. That's supposed to be a right angle. Let's see if I can do a little bit better here. Yeah, just like that. So here we'll get rid of that one. This one right here, they cross at a right angle. And down at the bottom, when we've talked about angles, right? And I'm kind of going through this a little quickly since we did spend a whole day with review of these terms. Draw a right angle angle EFG. So I'm going to make mine with uh, line segments instead of rays. I could put arrows at the end and make them into rays. So EFG would, looks like, would look like this. And the last thing, draw an acute angle. Okay, so open just a little bit. Label the vertex H. Where is the vertex? It is on the corner, right? You used to call it a corner. You're now calling it a vertex. So I wanted to make sure that we got a chance to talk about those topics before you take your unit one math test. All right, good luck.